Simple machines in the body. And yes, I'm doing the animation. Again. Alright. Before we can talk about simple machines in the body, let's look at what a simple machine even is. According to the internet, a simple machine is <clears throat> a mechanical device that changes the direction or magnitude of a force. Simple machines include levers, pulleys, wheel and axles, screws, wedges, and inclined planes. Okay, let's start with pulleys. A pulley is a simple machine that consists of a grooved wheel with a rope or cable wrapped around it. There's only one example for this, and it is the knee. See, the quadriceps femoris extends down the leg and connects to our feet and lower legs. Next is screws, which is an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. You might think there couldn't possibly be screws in the body, but you'd be wrong. Apparently, there's a bone at the top of the spinal column called the axle bone that acts as a screw. Wheel and axle is next. I couldn't think of a good transition. Anyways, a wheel and axle is basically two cylinders that rotate around a common axis at different radiuses. The rotator cuff at the top of your arm is a wheel and axle, and allows your arm to rotate around. Second to last, we now have wedges. Wedges are two inclined planes moving together. A good outside example is an axe. In the body, we have teeth to serve as our wedges. And finally, levers. Levers are used to lift heavy weights with the least amount of effort. Three good examples for this are seesaws, pliers, and scissors. Levels are the most prevalent simple machine in the body. To use some examples from the book, the muscles and joints in your neck, the ball of your foot and your calf muscle, and your elbow and biceps are all levers. In all those examples, the bone is the fulcrum and the muscles are the input force. So, uh, that's about it. Was that, th was that three minutes? Hopefully it was, because this is the end.